now we are going to select in this case 30 so let's select 30 stop and play almost because okay so what about 50 that's it it looks much better so it is not like very centered so maybe I need to move this ah uh, another thing when you move to this part to the left values get smaller even negative and to this part positive negative positive okay so let's say if we are in 136 let's move this to 116 so let's do it I guess looks better over there now not really 100 minus 122 yes that's it I like it now we have the first row of clones maybe in Y ah, in Y when you get down you uh, decrease the value okay even to smaller values like negative values up you go to positive values so let's move it a little bit to 102 I guess 90 will be okay so we create these guys and that's it we have the clones place the, uh, and place them over there so now uh, what if we want to create uh, more clones well we can go for more blocks and the block that we just created but what happens if I place it in here guys well think about it it will move this thing and then it will create the clones and then it will create more clones if I click five check what happens all of them are in here but placed over here why because we need to give another space what if I want to have my clones to be here if this one the original was in 90 the y-axis it was in 90 it was over here I want to have my uh, next box down in the same x-axis but down so probably 43 so I'm going to do that so here I'm going to use the same x and then I'm going to select this one just change the x to the two to be the same as the other one and then this one and then I'm going to create the clones let's see what's happened now that's it now you have six why six because you have five clones plus the original so in this case we need to decrease this number and you are going to have it plus four that's it I guess with two rows uh, of enemies it's okay for now okay mm, probably three but even you can change the size of the clones okay of the next clones so probably you can change here um, create clones in here insert something but I guess that's okay for today okay and now we have this the enemy so let's move a little bit this thing down and let's start adding uh, some things let's start adding the movement for our uh, clones so let's see that I want to start the game when I press add a key so I go here to events and then when ah but you have to select the enemy I guess it is quite the same if you select in the other when I press the space key so we are going to wait a little bit we are going to wait like two seconds okay so to get ready okay and now what is going to happen well we are going to add a loop to move the ships so we are going to select here forever this loop is will repeat this thing and then we are going to use a uh, weight again because we want to move them just like little by little one 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 
and then we're going to change okay in motion we're going to change the x uh, position by let's say that in this case by 20 that's it because it's going to the right now and probably we want to play a sound you can use this sound that it's in here that it's this pop sound or you can uh, use your own sounds so I guess I will try to make my sound so uh, let me see for example every time we move the these insects you uh, click here on this microphone record new sound and then you just call it insect move and then you are just get ready to make this noise okay so probably so let's see I'm going to record that yes you are loud no let me edit undo or delete again and then you just crop or select the ones edit delete select here edit delete and I have my sound okay so now uh, I will use this sound in my uh, in my insects so again for the sounds is the same if you click on the spaceship you won't see this sound you just only see the sound available for enemy so for the spaceship you have to record your uh, their own sounds okay so now we return to script you just wait for say changes and then uh, we're going to use the sound so you go to sound and you have over there play sound so you are going to play this thing you just check you have all the sounds available for this insect over there that's it okay so now what's hap what is going to happen right now so we stop we start again and we just press a uh, ah, sorry I just created here it is in here where you move the insects so again let's play it I play but now check what happens when you get to the edge everybody gets there we need to return them we need to detect when we are reaching this area and then when we are reaching this area to do that we are going to create the edges okay the edges for the game so uh, but well so let's start doing that so now we're going to go here and we're going to select paint new sprite we're going to paint new sprite and you just click I prefer this one convert to vector or you can use bitmap, mo bitmap mode I'm going to select this one and I'm going to use here this rectangle and I'm going to drag so you have here just the line or just color I'm going to select just the color and I'm going to select something like white just to see right now and then you can see this thing over there so we are going to center this thing more or less don't worry we are going to place it in here I want to have my limits over here I select I reduce probably that's okay then I reduce this part that's it don't worry now for the color okay don't worry for the color we're going to send it back and of course then we return here to scripts then to uh, this part and we call it a uh, right edge and that's it we have right edge we duplicate the right edge and we're going to call it left edge we just click in here and then we're going to just place it probably in here 
it's okay yes so we have these things that are going to help us to detect if we have any collisions now you just can center them a little bit more for the for the insects you just can move the starting position so probably to uh, 118 and then 118 for the other one and that's it so if I click in here yes it looks a little bit better well now we have these detection things and now uh, we need to check what to do right now